Hello YouTube and welcome to a new Tax Laws video. A couple of days ago I was at the German presentation of the new Google Pixel 3 devices and Google gave us those bags. And in these bags you can guess, of course, there is a new Pixel 3. It's a white Pixel 3 XL edition. We get also the Google Pixel stand. We get the Pixel 3 XL case and this little... Hmm, pieces of papers uh, Google is telling us about don't break the NDA don't publish anything before Monday I guess 6 p.m. or anything like that so when you will uh, see this video everything of course all the big American accounts are already be reporting about the uh, pixel devices the European guys don't even uh, can't mention that they got one but um, this is another topic so at the presentation of course Google just live streams the big show from the US to Europe and we know about the new Pixel 3, the new Pixel 3 XL now with wireless charging and so you can buy for 80 bucks this Pixel stand which is on the one side of course a standard Qi charger with 10 watt uh, charging, wireless charging capacity. Yes, this is nice, but on the other side it's just a normal stand. G stand uh, for, for 80 bucks, poo, this is the highest price. And on the other side, of course, you see the Pixel 3 XL case, which cost 45 euros. So this is something Google is, um, Google always, always, since the Nexus devices, everything that you can buy additional to those devices, uh, but it's the same level, price level as Apple devices. But now let's start with the Pixel 3 XL. I get the white version and the white version I think is the very, very nicest looking of them all. Team Pixel on the back side and the press samples are only, only 64 gigabyte, which is okay. Which this is the version I would buy personally. Uh, maybe I will pre, uh, uh, buy one, but uh, not sure yet. These all those things have to go back to Google after around four weeks. So let's open up the box, and there you can see the white version. And if I get it out, there we go. Uh, this feels a little bit slippery, but I really like the feeling. It's a little bit like uh, ceramic. And I have to say, I don't know why the button is green or mint green or anything like that, but overall the feeling, the build quality, what, what I get from holding this device and moving it around in my fingers, this just feels really, really nice. I can reach the volume down button and up button with ease, the on off button, I have to stretch my thumb with my left index finger, I can reach on and off, and again I have to stretch the index finger to reach the on off button, which is not really comfortable to, to get. On the top side we get a microphone, on the left side we see nothing. Down here we get the SIM card tool, uh, the SIM card tray. We go to get one nano SIM card, no dual SIM, no micro SD cards. We got USB type C and that's it. On the front side there we got the two speakers. So we got stereo front facing speakers which is nice and we got this big notch we already know and if you look directly onto the device you can see that's the white version on the frame. Here and there of course you see the button but the mint green thing is not really you won't notice it that much. On the back side we get one camera. Uh, camera is standing a little bit out, but shouldn't be a problem. And with the fingerprint sc finger uh, scanner is in the middle of the back side. Yeah, you can reach it. Yeah, of course, if you want to. Um, it will a little bit move around if you type on it. But down here, if you're using the keyboard, no problems. The device won't move. So, what else is in the box? We get, you can see it. So we get some papers. We get, of course, the SIM card tool, which is again, tiny, tiny, tiny. We get some stickers, which I think is wonderful. We get two stickers, a Google Tix sticker and a Team Pixel sticker. And we get this uh, starting guide here, which tells us where to push the buttons. It also get active edge again. So you can squeeze the device a little bit and you can uh, use it to start the system or anything. So how to open the SIM tray, the, how to use the OTG adapter, and that's it. So these are the papers. This time we get headphones with the device, which uh, really look a little bit like the Pixel Buds. Um, with a remote, with a microphone and with this uh, thing where you can adjust it to uh, the size of your ear. And of course with USB Type-C. There is no headphone jack on the Pixel 3 or Pixel 3 XL. You, uh, but you get a USB-C to, USB to, to headphone jack adapter. 
and of course USB-C to, to a normal USB adapter. We get a USB Type-C to USB Type-C charging cable and one last thing is missing. Of course we still get a charger with all of those. USB Type-C and an output of 9 volt to ampere. So we get an 18 watt charger. So this should be sufficient for the around 3000 milliampere hours battery, which I still am a little bit skeptical about battery life. Then for 45 euros, I told you, you get the Pixel 3 XL case. And I guess this normal Pixel case costs, uh, 3 case costs the same. So no additional costs for the XL version. This is a black case and it feels a little bit, okay, it's a little bit rough. It's no sandstone, it's not really silk, no, no silk, not at all, but of course, uh, in here we got Google Pixel 3. Ooh, no XL, why is the XL missing here? Let's place the de device inside. This way you won't notice that you got a white version if you're looking on from directly from the front, but still you can notice that's back uh, down here it's a USB-C port. And of course that's the back side with the fingerprint scanner and the cameras. Now the camera is protected. We got a G logo on the back side. I still can, yes, okay, it's, it's okay to push the fingerprint scanner here. Pushing the buttons, oh, this is definitely getting harder. So at least I have to use twice the strength um, to push the buttons and it's a little bit rough, definitely. This is definitely a rough material. Maybe you can see this. Um, I'm not sure, of course, now the device won't slip out of your hand, but on the other side, this definitely is not a nice feeling. Maybe it gets softer over time, but in comparison, oh, this, is, this feels so much better. Ah, really nice feeling of holding this device in my hand. I'm really, I really like the feeling. So next step. Or last step, the Pixel Stand for 80 euros. Any informations? Google, only how to use it, push it, put it there, and that's it. So we lift the top and three, two, one. There we go. It's also white, so we got the uh, stand, which you can't, no, you can't change the angle. Down here we got this rubber bottom, so it won't move, and support USB Type-C port for the charging cable. So you just place it on here and if you wish to, you can now use it, your Pixel 3 to, to show your pictures, see if you're in combination with the Google Nest camera, you can see the pictures of the Google Nest camera, so like surveillance thingy. Uh, we get some papers again, but I don't think what they should tell us other than, yes, connect it to the power and place your phone on the stand. So this is easy. And we get again a long, definitely a long USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable. And again, the exactly same, yes, 18 watt charger we get with the normal Pixel 3 device. So that's everything. So every three things together, the Pixel costs 950 euros. The case costs 50, 49 euros, so 950. 49 euros and the stand cost 80 so all this together for 1074 euros so if <laughs> this is a bargain i'm not so of course i'm making fun here but still you know you can exactly the same way charge the google pixel stand with a no name g star charger you get for 10 to 20 euros for example and 45 euros for this case. This is exactly the same ridiculous price policy we know from Apple. So this is no, no, def no, no, definitely not. Of course, it will protect your device, but I mean, come on, you ne nearly pay 10% of the of the price of the phone. Okay, not not 10%, but but over 5% of the pro of the phone price for this. Ah, I don't know. So, but overall. The Pixel 3 XL is the most important part here and this device just looks and feels gorgeous from the back side. Of course the front side and we got a lot of notch discussions here. But still, if the device now runs faster, takes even better pictures than this predecessor and the battery life is good, then I'm totally satisfied here. So this is it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.